today's event is to launch um, a very exciting literary festival which is coming to Belfast in June this year. It's the Jaipur Literature Festival, often hailed as the greatest literary show on earth. We've been working for a number of years with our partners in India um, and the festival director Sanjoy Roy um, to try and land the festival for Northern Ireland and we're absolutely delighted that we have agreed an addition for June 2019. I think the festival organisers in India were very taken with the connections between India and Ireland. Themes of migration, themes of boundaries, conflict and obviously here in Ireland we have such a rich literary heritage so it's not simply authors and readings and poets but it is um, critics, panellists, intellectuals debating the, you know the issues that, that we're keen to explore. So five years ago uh, to the credit of both the Arts Council of, of Northern Ireland and British Council and the Shimasini home place but every year they came out they said you have to come to Ireland and I'm like going okay uh, I mean and why and then two years ago when I finally sort of agreed to sit down with them I understood there are many concerns of why they wanted us to be here I had never been to Ireland and you know when you are in London which is a place I am very often you tend to believe that that is in many ways the center of the United Kingdoms and the world, or certainly the arts center of the world. Well, when I arrived in, uh, in Belfast uh, three weeks ago, or four weeks ago, I realized there was nothing familiar or similar. And Westminster could be as far away from Ireland as India is. And I think especially today with the challenges that Ireland faces, with Brexit and when you come here you realize that those are those realities are very real. So international connection is central to all of the work we do at the British Council and India has always been a really important country where exciting artists from Northern Ireland, musicians, writers want to engage. Uh, with Arts Council and British Council in India we've been able to support residencies and opportunities for Northern Ireland in India. But with the new partnership with the Jaipur Literature Festival, I think that relationship has just become much stronger and a really important part of our work. At the Jaipur pop-up at the Lyric Theatre and the Seamus Heaney home place in Balahi, we want to bring some of that creative inspiration that our artists from Northern Ireland have enjoyed and explored in India back to audiences at home and obviously we want to welcome Indian writers, artists, performers and musicians to Northern Ireland too. So we had a fantastic experience in India um, but I think the highlight for me was the festival itself, just getting to meet writers from different places around the world and um, hearing about their work and the issues they're addressing in their work and how quite often they're very similar to what we're talking about here in Northern Ireland. What, what took my breath away really was the scale of it. Um, I think that the year before they had half a million people come through um, the gates and it really was like walking around in a kind of literary version of Glastonbury. And I think the other astonishing thing about the festival was that um, I think it's up to 75% up to of the uh, attendees are under 30, mm. which to a literature festival in the UK and Ireland is just, it's just mind boggling, you know. Um, I think what I'm most excited about is bringing some of these voices from around the world to Belfast. There were some really different aesthetics going on in the writing that I got to hear in India and I'm excited about those influences coming in and how that might shape the way we write here. Absolutely fantastic. One of India's biggest festival of writing, poetry and creative skills is coming to our small, tiny city of Belfast. is absolutely fantastic. Many more things happen here, but I think this is something, a real proud movement for the Indian community who have contributed from last 40 years in this country. And I think it is really, really important to showcase what is peace and reconciliation means through creative writing in, um, in India. I'm delighted to be involved with JLF Belfast this year. I think um, 
here in Northern Ireland, we kind of get a bad rap of being a very closed society that's kind of looking backwards all the time. And I think there's a, a great tension that results from that. But what's fantastic about JLF Belfast and the arts here in Northern Ireland is that it demands an openness and, an, and, and a looking forward and an embracing that I believe that the arts is best placed to bring about here. Uh, I know that I'm being in uh, part of a panel about gender. Uh, my other contribution to the festival is in 2014, I had a production called Trouble. It was at the MAC in Belfast, and it was uh, a collection of a, a video installation archive of over 46 interviews from LGBTQ individuals about what it was like growing up gay during the Troubles. Um, because my partner and I were the first public civil partnership in Northern Ireland, in the UK, in 2005, and I always felt that that was uh, that that we were in that position simply because of the years and years and years of activists and people who had lived their lives um, in the scene before us. And so I felt very strongly that I wanted to to, to treasure and preserve their stories, um, certainly before any of them passed away. And we're doing a remount of Trouble, um, kind of a smaller version of it up at the Lyric in Belfast. So I'm really, really thrilled to be there. Can I just say how excited I am to be having the J. Poor Festival in the Lyric and going to Seamus uh, Hindi home place as well. I think it's really exciting. I think it's great for the North. Um, it's an amazing festival, it's legendary. There is so much, so many writers and stuff that have taken part in it. And just to bring it to Belfast is a really exciting initiative. Um, it will be fun, it's gonna be quick, obviously, you know, like I mean, we've got to really pack a lot in there in a short space of time. But I mean, we're up for the challenge and I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. So the festival will kick off on the Friday evening, Friday the 21st of June. Our main programme is on 22nd of June um, in the Lyric Theatre. And then on Sunday, um, unusually and wonderfully, given its importance, uh, we will be inviting the audience who wish to partake um, of the offer to travel to Balahi, to the Seamus Heaney home place in that wonderful centre in the heart of Heaney homeland. And as our Nobel laureate, I can think of no better place to bring an element um, of the programme uh, outside Belfast. Mm -hmm.